Hi, and welcome to Virtual Cycling. My name is April. You can do this if, if you have a bike at home, or even if you don't have a bike, you could do it on an elliptical, or maybe even a treadmill. Okay, we're gonna get started with a warm-up. resistance down as low as possible for this warm up. Alright, and we're going to start. So we're just warming up the legs. warm up our upper body, so sit up nice and tall, inhale, and exhale, okay, one more, inhale, and exhale, all right, we're going to start with just a stretch up and over, this gets your obliques and your back, okay, and switch, Grab your arms behind your back and pull on your shoulders. Just get your shoulders and your chest. Okay, we're going to get the triceps. So grab your right arm and pull it behind your head. You're pulling on your elbow. Okay, and then switch. Right, we're going to get the back, so grab your right wrist and just give a slight pull. Okay, and then switch, grab your left wrist and pull. And we're going to get the shoulder, so roll your arms slowly and forward. Okay, one more stretch for the neck and back. So your head going down to your right shoulder. And then bring your head down slowly and onto the other side. Okay, great. So you put your hands on the bike. This is our position one. So you're going to carefully stand up to position two. In this position, I like to have my weight centered pretty much over the seat. So all my weight is on my heels. You're pretty much straight up and down. Try to add a little bit of resistance. Three, so walk your hands out to the ends of the handlebars. Now you're in a slight bend. Add in a little bit of resistance. You should still be able to feel the seat. Alright, take all your resistance off. We're starting into the first song. We're going to be doing jumps, eight count jumps into four count. All right, so you want to add in some resistance. The beat is right, left, right, left, right, left. That's your beat. It's about 70 RPMs. We're going out for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Out. Down. Out. Down. Okay, we're gonna try four count. Out, two, three, four, down. Out. Down, out, two, three, four, down, out, down, 
should be around 65 RPMs. Out, down, stay here. Right, left, left, right. Your resistance is fairly moderate. And we're going back out for eight, right here. Four, three, two, one, down. Out. You want to stay right around 60 RPMs. Okay, we're going into a hover. So you want to sit back. Elbows are down and not out. Four count jump. 
straight up and down. Almost like you're on an elliptical, basically. Okay, we're gonna do that two count. Small jump. Out, up, out, up. If you're on an elliptical, you can just bend your arms right here. Walking your triceps.
Come back to the seat, keep the same beat. Right, left, left, right. Great job, take your resistance all the way off. Take a little break.
And we're gonna sit down back to 82. Right, left, right, left. All right, we're gonna accelerate right here. Don't touch your resistance. Try to hit 110, 115. Five, six, seven. Okay, take all your resistance off. We're gonna take a little break. right here, sit back. We're gonna try going up for four. Up, two, three, four, and down. Good job. Up, I'm gonna sit back. So you're working your legs. Right. I had on 14 years. 
We're going out to three. Out. Next song, we're going to speed it up. Whichever. All right, we're going to accelerate one more time. Five, six, right here, go. So if you're on a treadmill, you're going to run right here. Elliptical, speed it up. Five, six, seven, and we're going to pick it up and just walk out the legs. 60 RPMs. So this 
So I'm going to add in a considerable amount of resistance and go back to 12 gears. Now you're just using your legs. 
heels on the bike. This should be hard to push. If it's not, add in some resistance. I'm on 13 gears. Okay, we're going up for four right here. Up and down. So your hands are on three this whole time. You're just coming an inch off the seat. Inch off the seat and down.
get ready, we're running. I'll tell you when. Five, six, right here, go. Five, six, seven. Awesome job. We're gonna walk out the legs. Right, left, so we're slowing it down, half. Let's add in some resistance right here.
Alright, we're going out for two. Down, up, down, up. Yay, great job. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit faster. See where we are after that song. And we Slower beat on this one. The faster beat is right here. Right, left, right, left, right, left. 92. Right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, right. It's about 92, 93. We're going to be slowing it down into the 40s, so get ready. I'll tell you when. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, get ready to slow it down. Five, six, right here, adding resistance. Right, left, right, left, right, left. So now you're at 46. This is a very slow, heavy climb. Five, six, all right, take it off. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Back to 93. Adjust your resistance accordingly. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Walking, running out the legs. 
Okay, eight more, then we're gonna sit down into a cool down. Five, six, seven, all right, right here. Take all your resistance off. Great job. All right, we're gonna sit up, big inhale, and exhale. One more, big inhale, and exhale. All right, we're doing that stretch for the obliques and the back. You should feel it all in here. Switch. And then stretching the chest and shoulders. And then I want you to just round your back, kind of push your abs in. You're getting your lats. All right, and then triceps. And switch. All right, we're going to do the lower body off of the bike. So you want to stop, get carefully off of the bike, or elliptical, or treadmill. And we're going to um, do our hamstring. So put your right leg up somewhere. It doesn't have to be up here, anywhere on the bike. Both knees are bent, toes are forward. Make sure your hips are going direction of your feet. Lean forward, both bends, a slight bend in both knees. Then take your right arm, I'm sorry, your left arm, grab the outside of your right foot. Okay, and then um, we're gonna do the quad, so grab your foot. And pull it in nice and tightly to your butt. outer hip and the piriformis. So cross your leg above your knee. You want to hold on to your foot so it's not pushing on your kneecap. I kind of pull it up like onto my onto my uh, thigh. And then you're going to take that leg and push it down into the ground, like heel all the way down. Use the bike. So I like push on the bike and push my heel all the way down and then bend that back knee. Okay, and then we're gonna stretch the left leg. I'm switching places because I like to wrap around with my arm and I can't do that from the same side. So I switch spots. So your left leg goes up on the bike. Both knees are bent. Toes going toward your foot. Okay, and then grab and reach around and grab the outside of your foot. That gets your back. Okay, and then quad, so grab your left foot, your left toes, pull them into your butt. Legs come together. Okay, and then cross that foot above the knee, hold on to your ankle and sit back. Just get your piriformis, also your outer hip. And then use the bike and push on the bike and push your heel down. And then bend your back knee. Great. And then inhale. There we do two. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Thank you for watching.
watching.